you are getting into any relationship, you must see that encounter step course. You must know that what am I supposed to be? These days, people just marry. They don't sit down to first count the costs. The price of the marriage is not the diary that you pay. The real cost is how long you are able to endure and live together for a long time. In Luke chapter 14, verse 28, it says that, is there anyone who's planning to build a new house? Doesn't first sit down and figure the cost so you will know if you can complete it. Most people don't sit down to count the cost. So most men marry and they never see the woman in 10 years to come. They just see the woman as the woman is today. And it is being said that if you want to see how your woman will look like in 50 years, look at the mother. If you want to see how your man will look like when he's past 50, look at the father. Interestingly also, you can look at how the man treats the mother and know what a man wants in the woman. You can also see how your, your, your wife or the lady treats the father and know what she wants in a man. Now, most people don't say that all they're interested in that is a waste power, the beauty, the man has the money, he can take care of me, and so on and so forth. And they go ahead, give them the bride price, this one I can pay. They pay. You can pay those physical prices, but they are emotional price, they are psychological price. Nobody wants to marry and break up. Everybody who wants to marry wants to be happy thereafter. Unfortunately, that is not what happened. The kind of materials you are putting will tell me how long the marriage is going to last. If you want to build a tower, which is like a story building, you will know that the flow alone is expensive. They can draw it for you. As for drawing, it's easy. As for opening your mouth and say, I love you, to so death do us part, it's easy. It's easier said than done. If you are young and you are yet to marry, you have the advantage of sitting down to calculate it now. Every level of a man or a woman and the price you pay. If you are if you are getting married to a politician, if you are marrying a soldier, you should know the price you pay. When you are getting into any relationship, you must sit down and count the cost. You must know that what am I supposed to pay? If I am marrying a pastor, you should know that the price is different from marrying an ordinary person. Do you know the price of your relationship? Because you must begin to sit down and count the cost. If you are single, you can begin to look at certain prices you are going to pay. Sometimes you marry a woman who is very, very ambitious, who says, I want to go and do doctorate, who is just high school, and you should know that such a woman, she's not even looking at giving birth or whatever, the, the plane is somewhere else. Count the cost. If you count the cost and think you can pay, oh, go ahead. If you think you can pay and can negotiate, start negotiating. But sometimes people can even agree to negotiation based on what is currently happening. But as soon as you step in, the thing is renegotiated. If you are married also, you will realize that every time, every day, every moment, there are new prices you are paying. If you, if you get a, a man who is very careless, doesn't have any, I mean, any plan, any vision, you have to pay a price. If you marry a woman too, who is also like that, always sitting in the house, you've got to make her way. But there seems to be no way, you have to pay the price. You can also marry a woman who yeah, is a career woman. If you go, I go. If you bring, I bring. No, we don't look, we don't sit down and do all this calculation. Be sincere with yourself and count the cost.